15 years ago. Just as the sun was glinting, just as it had come up over the horizon, I still found myself leaving the comfort of, and safety of my vehicle to go and check the tracks of a, a female lion with small cubs. You know, I wasn't going to go and walk off into the bush after it. All I needed to know was where she'd gone. I needed to know whether she'd gone off into the woodland to my left or across the vast open grassy plain to my right. And I hear a little rustle in the grass. And I thought, oh, I hope that's an impala. But I knew, I knew, and I looked up and there's this female lion just barreling down the banks of the Savuti Channel towards me. Just to give you a bit of perspective on what's coming at me, she weighs about 140 kilograms. She runs about twice as fast as Usain Bolt on a good day. And she's perfectly designed to kill things much bigger than me for a living. If I ran, I was dead. So I stood and I'd raise my arms above my head. And, and meanwhile, I'm thinking, she's got to stop. She's got to stop. She's got to stop. If she doesn't stop, I'm dead. She didn't leap onto me like she would leap onto a zebra. She got up on her back legs and she whacked me like she was fighting another lion. I didn't know it, but she dislocated my shoulder with that first blow. Somehow I found myself in a ball on the ground with this lion on top of me and my whole existence got vacuumed into my head. It doesn't feel like my day to die. And, and that thought prompted me to think, well, if it's not my day to die, what am I, I going to do? How am I going to get out of this? And then it dawned on me I was going to fight. So I threw three of my best punches into the, this lion's stomach. And I tell you what, Throwing those punches was by far the most useless thing I've ever done in my entire life. I put my hands behind the back of my neck, which was not a conscious decision, it's just what happened. And I felt these teeth start biting into the back of my head. Oh.